on the train headed to Druskovka and we've got Michelle with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Had a little bit of tea. They serve. You can get tea with your your tickets. I'll show you kind of how this train works. They give you basically. This is your um, your sheets, and then this is your bedding right here. And then when it's time to when it's time to go to sleep, you just roll that out. We actually already made up our pillows put the pillowcases on and you just roll that out on these beds here and you go to sleep and they got the upper bunk up there so we've got we've got the two lower bunks here and, um, and so far we're the only one in this compartment they have compartments with four people and we're the only one yeah. and one door here we can close and open and our little table so it's pretty convenient it's kind of a, a long this train uh, this trip is like so we left at 145 from Odessa and we get into Druskovka at 511 a.m. We left at 145 p.m. so that makes it like 13 14 like 15 and a half hours or something like that that's kind of a long ride it's a bit of a slow train it makes a lot of stops but some good views, lots of green outside this time of year. stop here I think the train stops here for about 25 minutes or so and a lot of people get out and you, they're selling sandwiches and vareniki all kinds of stuff to eat I'll show you those are the women that are selling right there. I got, just come from the houses, they got all kinds of stuff to eat in those bags. And they sell. This is what I got for about 90 cents. 20 grieven, which is potato vareniki. Try it out. Looks, looks like it's pretty decent. It's warm, so that's kind of nice. Not bad. It's just about 5 a.m. We get off the train here in about 10-15 minutes. And it's a good thing because it started raining at night and it's dripping our roof is dripping let me see if i can get this here there's a drip that just oh there it goes it's just coming right out of that light so i woke up to that just like dripping on my head Actually, it's gonna dripping right down there on the table but anyway we get off the train here in about five minutes we got this train used to go to Donetsk, and um, now it doesn't go to Donetsk because it can't cross the, the front line of the war. So we get off one stop before the end stop. It's been raining pretty hard all morning. I see that it's just kind of stopped. Anyway, they brought us to, this is a, a house that the church owns, and they've used it for like a, um, a what do they call it? A, a, 
a center for people trying to get off drugs. And, um, but right now it's, it's empty, so we know we're staying here. So we just spent the morning kind of talking with a couple of the guys. And I think they're gonna pick us up in a couple of minutes and take us to the church. And we're gonna be doing the seminar all day there. So I know this is a bit of a long vlog since I started yesterday, but I'm just gonna keep going with it. I'll finish it up after the seminar this afternoon or this evening so you can so you can kind of see what the seminar looks like that we're doing and so anyway it's a bit chilly i did not expect it to be this chilly here but it is a bit chilly for for mid-may Friends, we are wrapping up our day here. We're back at the house where we're staying. Had a great seminar today. Probably, I think there's about 30 people there. And so spent most of the day teaching, leading the seminar. Uh, Yuri was leading it with me. He left this afternoon to go back to Kiev because there's a, a express train that leaves like at 4.45. And so I finished up the seminar this evening. Right now it's about quarter to seven and we're a bit tired but we're gonna go for a walk because we've been sitting in the seminar all day and then we're gonna come back home and get some rest so i ha i don't even know what misha did you film anything during the day mish uh, yeah i did i was filming uh, okay how you were. so i don't know what he filmed but hopefully we'll get some of that on the vlog and um and that's it for today's vlog all right till tomorrow blessings guys I was lying the vlog isn't quite over yet Michelle and I found this river decided to take a walk along it it's kind of a cool river everything is green there's people fishing here lots of sounds of birds and frogs and things and I'm not sure where we're gonna end up but it's kind of a nice little adventure here Only problem with this trail is I didn't really wear the shoes for it and it's pretty wet and muddy so now we got to find a way to get back before the Sun gets down and we get lost in the dark here